Hi guys and welcome to a competitive gameplay video containing two matches from a live stream using webcams. Today I am playtesting a patron of mine, Tangelo's Frasius Vile Smasher Polydemon, using all form of polymorph effects even though with Druid, and from there programmably get our only creature from our deck into play, Rasakef. And then the big demon can assemble the Brain Freeze, Lion Side Diamond, Underworld Breach combo. I have been helping Tangelo brainstorming this deck a little bit, but in the end, he's the great architect behind it. Fighting against us, we have Splashy with his Golus Storm deck with Avnasium and Peer into the Abyss. But I'm not the only Rasakef player. With us, we also have Nate running his Rasaket Tassigur deck, finding Rasaket with Eldritch Evolution. And we also have more Avnasium decks. Salas is with us with his Mardur farm deck. Alright, let's start game one. Cast a Mox Diamond, discard Tundra, uh, land for turn, windswept teeth, orcish lumberjack, pass turn. Draw for turn. I will just play an Urborg as land for turn, and I will pass. Draw a card. A little bit scared about losing potentially... Turn two. <laughs> turn two, yeah, exactly. Misty Rainforest into play, sacrifice it, Taiga, and cast Utopia Sprawl onto the Taiga, naming blue. You know what? We're gonna cast also a Getaxian Probe targeting you, Splashy. This card, this card, this card, this card. Yeah, I know those. You can hide it. Pass the turn to you, uh, Nate. I will draw for turn a Bloodstained Mire, crack it, and search for an Underground Sea, Chrome Mops, imprinting Mystical Teachings, that for a blue to play Training Grounds. Uh, I've got a response to Training Grounds. I'm gonna crack Winds of Teeth, find a Taiga. Red Elemental Blast. Nothing further, I will pass. One, two, uh, break the Taiga for Orcish Lumberjack, make three green, and I'll cast Golos. No responses. No response either. You have your ETB effect, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just shortcut a both stage you into play, and play my land for turn, Overgrown Tomb tapped, and pass. During our end step, I will attempt to cast in Tomb. Okay, so my turn. Untap Sire of Insanity in the graveyard. Um, draw this card for a turn. Play a basic Plains. As land for a turn, Talisman of Hierarchy, cast Reanimate, targeting Sire. Noxus Revival, sorry, paying to life and put change that position for him to the top of your deck. Reanimate Fizzles and I end my turn. Draw a card for the turn. Verdant Catacomb into play, cast Frasius, the Triton Hero, pass the turn. I'm going to play Windswept Heath, Tropical Island, delve three of these cards, tap uh, the Underground Sea for black, for a total of six mana and play Tasker the Golden Fang, and I will pass. Um, land for turn, Forbidden Orchard, combat, I'll swing for one at sails. I take one damage. I'll pass. My turn, draw. Um, land for turn, Emergency Zone, Urzov Signet. I will attempt to cast my commander, Timna the Weaver, and my turn. I'm gonna sacrifice the Verdant Catacomb, and I'm gonna find something that is perfect for this kind of strange situation where I can accept having a land coming into play tapped. A tri land with cycling. So this basic taps for four different colors right now. It's a command tower. Draw this card, a basic mountain into play. I wanna cast Massacre. All creatures gain minus two, minus two until end of turn. I'm fine with this, past priority. I'll respawn and float a green with Forbidden Orchard, giving a spirit to sails. So I will pass two and Timna dies. Pass my turn after that. Uh, before you end the turn, I'm gonna use the green floating for a crop rotation, sacrificing Forbidden Orchard. Ancient Tomb, yeah. I will untap and I will draw Chrome Mox, Underground C, and play Demonic Tutor. Uh, I'll pass on Demonic Tutor. I'm pass. We are also going to pass on that. I am going to pass my turn after that. Cast an Absence Pilgrim. Land for turn, Phyrexian Tower, top Mox Diamond, top Boseju, Infernal Tutor. Wait, is your hand size zero now? I'm Elven. That is a demonic tutor then. I have no response to this, actually. Uh, I believe you win on your next turn then. I will pass my turn after that. S Salas, I would be fine if you actually resolve your Sire of Insanity. Well, let's see if I draw my land. Untap. Draw. <laughs> Sire is gonna stay in my hand. Pass my turn. Oh, that's sad. In your end step, I'm gonna activate. Look at the top. I'm gonna put that on the bottom, actually. Flip into a curiosity. Untap. Draw a card. 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna cast Imperial Seal by tapping this uh, Swamp Gear. I have chosen this card. Pass the turn. I'll untap and I will draw. And he just bought, he just got interaction. That's, that's lovely. I'm gonna tap two to play a Simic Signet. Unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to pass the turn after this. Draw and I will pay one, two, three, four life. Sacrifice Avacyn's Pilgrim to cast Pure into the Abyss, targeting myself. Uh, target player draws cards equal to half the number of cards in their library and loses half their life roundup each time. Deflecting SWAT? <laughs> I, I would like that to target me. Oh my god, why not I just grab nine? Um, that's amazing. I'm fine with losing to this. This happens all the time, actually. So, in response, I will just try to flash in a Aven Mind Sensor. I'm not gonna respond to Aven Mind Sensor. Okay. I, it, maybe it can limit your turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 cards outside. You get to draw 42 cards. Okay, there we go. I have uh, 42 cards here. Alright, that's my turn. Let's untap. Draw for turn. I will move to combat and swing to at Mons. I'll take two. I will pass my turn. I'm gonna cast Cyclonic Rift targeting Tassigur. Draw a card. Mox Diamond. Discarding uh, Wooded Foothills. Arid Misa into play. Put a Mox Amber into play. We gotta, we gotta reveal what the deck is actually about, what how it wanna win and everything. So let's let's do it the cool way. Divergent transformation. I'm gonna target Frasius and the Aven Mind Sensor. I will attempt to swords your Thrasius. Uh, I have a mental misstep somewhere around here. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big hand. Here it is. Uh, mental misstep. I, I'm gonna reveal that my deck only contains one creature. It's a polymorph deck, actually. And it's a Rasakef. So, let's see if I can find my Rasakef here. <laughs> oh, Ranger Captain of Eos. That's cool. Wait, this is terrible. Oh, that changed everything. Okay, so it's triggers on stack. I don't think we can win anymore. Damn it, we had the win. So, the first thing I'm gonna do... The first thing, I'm gonna cast a Carpet of Flowers. There is a trigger on stack when it enters the battlefield. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can you can resolve that. Y yes, but Sorry. I get to sacrifice it. <clears throat> because it generates a trigger on the stack. Oh, yeah, you do. Of all the things you could flip into, you had to flip into that. <laughs> it's fine. We can, we, can, we, can, we can live to fight another day, guys. We are gonna sacrifice Arid Misa, Dwarven Mine. When Dwarven Mine comes into play, if I control three other mountains, one, two, three, I do, I will generate a token. So I'm gonna tutor for my one drop, okay? Sarah Ascendant. I wanna cast Vile Smasher. Go for it. And draw, what do we do at this point? Play an Eternal Witness, targeting Demonic Tutor. Sure. And yeah, that's it. I'm getting just like nothing here. On top, up here, draw. Actually, top Island, Grim Tutor. So you do have enough mana for Odd Nauseum here. I'm gonna cast a Fierce Guardianship, trigger Vile Smasher, so it's it's free damage to you, Splashy. And then I'm passing on, on uh, Fierce Guardianship on Grim Tutor. Oh, and my turn after that. Draw. Cast my Sarah Ascendant, and my turn. Draw a card for the turn. Underworld Breach. Yeah, I will attempt to cast Necromancy, targeting Ranger Captain of Eels. Again, with sacrificing this token to Rasakef, paying two life. I'm gonna get this card, I'm gonna pack it off, negate it. Underworld Breach resolves. I'm gonna sacrifice Vile Smasher. I would like to answer your tutor. I would like to wear tear your Underworld Breach. I'm gonna cast Pack of Negation from my graveyard, exiling one, two, three cards. Uh, at this point, I can do it all day. <laughs> I'm gonna find my Lion's Eye Diamond and cast it. I'm then uh, gonna crack it for a bunch of mana, discarding uh, Oath of Druid, Brain Freeze, Deadly Relic, Force, Mog, and uh, Submerge. Storm is at six. Uh, cast it again. One, two, three. Go up to seven. Go up to six. Storm goes up to eight. I wanna cast Brain Freeze, targeting myself for eight times three. Then I wanna cast Lion's Eye Diamond again. Storm goes up. One, two, three cards gone. Then I'm gonna recast Brain Freeze. One, two, three. Let's target Splashy for 30 cards. 30 cards. Cast it again, targeting Sales for 33. 
Uh, meanwhile, I'm gonna recast Lion's Eye Diamond, gaining a batch of seven mana again. Gonna go down in five mana, exile one, two, three cards. Storm goes up to 13. I'm gonna target you to ex mill the top 36 cards. Do it one more time. Storm is up to 14. I'm gonna target you milling 30 plus 12, 42 cards. Gonna do the same thing again, targeting you to mill 45 cards. Recast Lion's Eye Diamond. Recast Brain Freeze. So I will target you with two. Target you for 45. Splashy. Recasting Lion's Eye Diamond. Then recasting Brain Freeze. If your decks are all gone, I would like to do something really cool. I'm gonna use Restore to return a land from my graveyard back into play, like Cephalid Colosseum. I'm gonna crack the Cephalid Colosseum, force one of you to draw cards, it goes to grave, recast this thing from the graveyard, return this thing, and basically kill you. This was really cool. Salas, I have to agree. Tangelo's Polydemon takes match one. Alright, let's begin game two! Drawing a card for the turn. Let's begin with a Kitaxian Probe, uh, Splash. This card, this card, this card, this card, this card, this card, and this card. Oh, you have a pretty scary hand. Tropical Island, and uh, <laughs> pass turn. Draw, Winslow so Teeth, grab Taiga, Mana Crypt, Felwarstall, Chrome Mox, Imprint Swansong, Wheel of Fortune. I'm gonna cast a Brainstorm in response to the Wheel of Fortune, so I can control a little bit about what I keep in my hand here. Assassin's Trophy, Crop Rotation, Massacre, Fierce Goddess Ship, and uh, Valakut. I'll discard a Brain Freeze and a Badlands. So I'm gonna discard Dark Ritual, Smoothering Tight, Mox Diamond, Godless Shrine, Scotting Tyrant, Sarah Ascendant, and Chrome Mox. Discarding Worldly Tutor, Brainstorm, Mox Diamond, Inventor's Sphere, Swamp, and Watery Grave. That'll be my turn. Draw for turn. So Verdant Catacombs, I'm gonna crack it for a Scrubland and use it to cast a Sol Ring, Talisman of Indulgency, tap the Talisman for a Colorless, and cast a School Clamp. Then I will pass. Draw. What if Foothills? I'm gonna get a uh, Tropical Island, Birds of Paradise, and that'll be my turn. Draw a card for the turn. Let's play a uh, Polluted Delta. This is the better play, so let's cast Fish. Pass the turn. Land for turn, Tropical Island. Tap 5, Golos, Trigger ETB. I'll find both Sage, you into play tapped. Tap 1. Birds of Paradise. I'll end my turn on path. Draw for turn. Arid Misa. Crack it for Badlands. Float one mana with Soul Ring to cast Timna. And with my floating mana, I will equip her with School Clamp and pass. A tap and draw. For a Sylvan Library. That's turn. Sacrifice this. I'm gonna get this uh, Canyon Sludge. Sludge. I'm gonna pay for the fish. Draw a card for the turn. Okay, I play a Windsept Heath. Why do, you, why do you guys have so much and I have so little? <laughs> Cast my commander, uh, Frasius, uh, by paying, sacrificing that thing. I, uh, I'm gonna pass the turn, I'm gonna find uh, Taiga. Draw. Underground sea, land for turn. I'm then going to cast a Rain of Filth. Brainstorm, three, two back. Cast Diabolic Intent, floating a colorless, sacrificing Golos' initial cast of cost. Force of Negation on that thing, pitching Steel Enchantment. Sure, that's fine. <laughs> Good job, Mons. <laughs> you saved us all. Four, five, six. And then I will break the break Tropical Island for seventh. Golos. So trigger ETB. You know what? I'll grab Phyrexian Tower. It's a good land. And that'll be my turn. Untap. Draw. Play Polluted Delta. Let's move to combat and attack Nate for three lifelink. I will take three. Gain three, lose one, and draw one card. De wait, 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 I'm gonna deadly rollick your commander. I will just cast my other commander. I will crack Polluted Delta, Godless Shrine, and equip Bruce with Skull Clamp, and pass my turn. And then beginning of draw, I can draw two additional cards, because I'm still in one, so I'll pay four life to keep one of them. So, um, Godless Shrine, I discarded it through Wheel of Fortune. I will get um, Blood Crypt instead, if that's okay. Looted Delta, play Priest of Titania, pay one life, crack this, and go find an Underground Sea, and then I will pass turn. Uh, untap, I'm gonna let the fish go away, actually. Draw a card for the turn. Mana Crypt, Carp the Flowers. I'm gonna go to my second main phase, I'm gonna gain two green mana from this thing. I'm gonna use one green mana to cast a Sol Ring, cast Proteostaff, 
I'm gonna cast a Sylvan Library as well, using the green and the colorless floating. Pass the turn. Untap, draw. Play a March Flats. Cast the Mox Opal. Break Golos, add two black to my mana pool. I'll cast Cabal Ritual with Threshold. You know what, I'm uh, I'm gonna cast a Dispel on that uh, thing. On Cabal Ritual? Yep, it's an instant, you can counter it. I'll respond though, I'll just crack March Flats, pay a life. Uh, I'm gonna grab a Scrubland, Cabal Ritual gets countered. Exiles Elvish Spear Guide from my hand, make a green mana. Cast an Infernal Tutor, floating, uh, one colorless, and I pay two through Bish AG. Oh, it can't be countered. Okay, so it's uncomfortable. Yeah, we, we all pass. But this means he's gonna try to win his next turn. Yeah, I'm gonna pass my turn after that, actually. I will cast Mana Crypt. Talisman of Conviction. One, two, three, four, five. Cast Timna. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you were expecting Ad Nauseum? <laughs> A bit. No, no my, my, my hand's really bad. I, like, I'm really out of the game right now, so I have to draw here. Yeah, let's swing at you, Mons. Double Strike, Lifelink 8. Um, I will net 7 life with Timna and draw 1. That's not a good card. Play a tapped sacred, sacred Foundry and pass. I will untap. I will draw three because of library. I'm gonna keep all three and take eight damage. So I'm gonna play Mana Crypt. One blue, I'm gonna play Preordain. So which one are you choosing? What? Sorry? Are you choosing Preordain? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that one. I, I never heard that one actually. <laughs> And then I'm gonna draw my card, crit to play the mirror signet, pass the turn after that. I have a Sylvan Library trigger to draw three cards. One, two, and three. I wanna add two blue man on this thing. Black, red, tapping this one, floating a colorless, casting Vile Smasher. Go down to one, go down one here, and activate Proteus Staff, targeting Vile Smasher. I'm gonna flip into my big Rasakef. There it is, big demon. I'm gonna sacrifice Frasius to Rasakef, losing two life, finding a card, where is it, there it is, that's the card I want to have, I'm gonna cost life for one green mana, uh, yeah, I have nothing, I'm gonna respond, no, I'm gonna cast Flusterstorm, yeah, it's countered, uh, nice, I guess this is the play then, I'm gonna cast Brain Freeze, with this beautiful proxy here, nothing wrong with it, best proxy you've seen, and we are gonna target, uh, you Splashy, currently four copies, do you, who do you want to do you want to make new targets? No, all on you. So you got the scepter, which is probably one of the most important hits. I'm gonna pass the turn. A black with this, and then I'm gonna break it off the Phyrexian Tower. Go to three black floor. Tap Mana Crypt. Tap Osage. A special colorless. Pay two life. Tap Scrubland. I'm gonna cast a Pure into the Abyss, targeting myself, holding priority. I'm gonna pay two life for Noxious Revival, targeting Ice Crown Scepter. I, I pass the priority. But does Nate have misdirection? I've seen in this uh, previous game. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna pitch. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Why does this keep happening to me? <laughs> this is the second I'm just time. gonna play Nas from now on. I'm just gonna start nausing from now on. So I'm passing on misdirection. So I will draw 38 cards, I guess. 38 cards. Alright, sick. Uh, I'll pass my turn. Draw for a turn? This is another ama amazing outcome from the peer into the abyss. I think I have a way try to stop him, but it, it has to do with your uh, Razakat mons. Okay, how? <laughs> um, if you trade Razakat for Bruise, I can reanimate it. Like I'm, I'm gonna attack you with Bruise, and if you <laughs> trade Razakat for Bruise, I can reanimate Razakat and uh, sacrifice Timna to use it for a tutor. Sure, let's do it. <laughs> Coming at mons and Timna to come at Splash. Boom, he dies. So I draw two cards from School Clamp. I gain 10 life from Lifelink and lose a life from Timna. Reanimate, targeting Razakat. I want to tap this and cast a negate. Okay, it gets countered. Cast Animate Dead, targeting Razakat. I'm gonna let that resolve actually. Let's tap for a red and cast Gamble. That's fine. Uh, I can roll a die. So you get a five. Oh, that's the card I tutored for, huh. Well, that's actually very, very sad. School Clamp attaching Chimna, and I'm gonna sacrifice her to Razakath. In response, I'm gonna tap and reality shift your Razakath. So I manifest the top card, then I draw two from School Clamp, and then I tutor. Attempting to cast Underworld Breach. Force of Will. Pitching Mystic. Attempting to end, end with style at least. So with my last colorless, equip School Clamp, sacrifice to add two black mana. 
need some Mox Opal. And I guess that's my last two draws. Try to get something. Play Green Monolith. 4, 5, take 2, Exile, Simeon Spirit Guide from my hand, 6, I would just play a Word Gorger Dragon and pass. You hard pass that? Jeez. So I will pass my turn. And I will draw 3, cast Mox Opal, Pro Mox, imprinting Biomancer's Familiar onto it. I'm going to cast Neoform targeting my Birds of Paradise. I'm going to get Incubation Druid, it has a 1-1 counter on it, so it taps for 3 mana. I'm going to cast Demonic Tutor. That will find me my Lightning Greaves. I'm going to cast Pemmon's Aura on this. Two, I'm going to cast Lightning Greaves. I'm going to equip him with Lightning Greaves. And now I have the ability to make infinite mana. And then I'm going to cast my Commander. And then uh, I'm going to activate Tasker infinite amount of times. I'm going to Beast within everyone's stuff. And then with the three, everyone has 3-3 three, three Beast now. And then I'm going to Reality Shift until you all have nothing in your library. All right, well, that's it. Play of the game. Deflecting sword? <laughs> I, I would like that to target me. Oh my god, why not I just grab nine? Um, that's amazing. Yeah. I'm a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> why does this keep happening to me? I don't even think I need to say anything. Poor Salas, he played really way with both caution and determination. Casting his goddess, finding Poseyu, taking it safe, making his spell uncounterable, but in magic, nothing is untouchable. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what I do and you wanna support me, feel free to share my videos or even checking out my Patreon page. Also, purchasing cards from the TCG Players website using the affiliate link in the description below of the video will also help the channel grow. So a big thank you to all of you.